Hey coach, so glad you found us on YouTube. Couple things, first of all, make sure you subscribe and like. Second thing is go check teachhoops at, check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It is a roadmap of someone that's done this for 30 plus years. Let me help you with that roadmap. I've already done it. I put pictures in my gym. Let me help you uh, spend less time, win more games. Go over and check out teachhoops.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the podcast. I'm very excited you decided to join us. Um, before we jump in, I want to give a big shout out to our two sponsors. First of all, Dr. Dish, the number one shooting machine on the market, bar none. Uh, mention any of our podcasts, Coach Unplugged, High School Hoops, Five Minute Basketball Coaching Podcast, Coach Collins, and they will take really good care of you. I'm so excited about all the innovation. Um, they, you know, like I've said multiple times, we own three of them. They are great, um, super easy to use, super easy to set up, super easy to break down. So super easy. Uh, but just, uh, you know, and Hardy. I mean, we've we've owned one of them for God eight, eight nine or eight nine years for sure. So um, go over and check it out. Mention us; they'll give you four hundred fifty bucks, four hundred fifty dollars off. And then also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you're looking for the one-stop shop, if you're looking for a resource that I would have wanted in my 20s and 30s, teachhoops.com is that resource. It's a one-stop shop for basketball coaches. It's everything that you need um, to take your basketball coaching to the next level. It's only one on the market that offers a 14-day free trial, so you can go over, kick the tires around, go look in, um, see all the resources, maybe jump on an office hour, or get on a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Um, but go over and check that out. All right. So today we're going to talk about the 10 ways to get to the free throw line. You know, recently the um, the one-on-one -on -one rule changed um, in the, in the, at the high school level in the last couple of weeks. So I thought this would be a pertinent way to kind of talk about, you know, how to get to that free throw line. They've kind of gone to the women's collegiate scale. Um, I know the states that are in halves like ours, still going to be bonus at seven, double bonus at 10. Um, but I know at five, they're going to be doing that in each quarter um, kind of moving forward. So I thought this was a pertinent thing to talk about now with all of the um, changes and movements kind of coming through. Um, so the following list is not all inclusive. If you have other ones, put it down in the show notes or send me an email. Um, you know, you can go over and find or, or, or the contact form at teachups.com. Um, but the following list um is a way to kind of put pressure on the defense um, and create situations in which you can get to the free throw line. All right. Number one is transition. Um, you know, by, by being aggressive and being your opponent down the floor, you know, running the lane, staying wide, whether you're running a, a, a break or not. Um, I think attacking the goal on that tends to get you fouled. The, 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 the math kind of shows that. Um, you would think, oh, you're getting easy open threes or, yeah, but I think it's attacking the rim on the transition that kind of really helps it. The next one is post touches. And I'm going to talk about the low post touches. Um, that's the ability to get, get, you know, get on that second block, bear the defender, be able to get to the, to the free throw line. But as a subcategory of that one, it's still number two is perimeter posting. Um, you know, very few guards quote unquote um are good at posting and they tend to foul more down there um they also tend to get more steals but they tend to follow down there so i you know i think that perimeter posting or low post touches would be number two number three is patience um you know aggressively attacking the defense looking for scenes looking for seams looking for things that um quick ball reversals um can get you fouled and get easier looks um, number four, um, to get to the free throw line, you can't get to the free throw line if you don't take care of the ball. Um, you know, you have to be strong with it. I think that, you know, I don't, I don't quote unquote necessarily like that triple threat, but I like that looking at the basket as soon as you catch it, kind of that peak, um, and then being strong, you know, kind of tucking it under that chin allows you to get, uh, to, to get fouled more often. So that would be number four, um, cutting and screening. Teaching them how to properly do it and cutting and screening, I think, will get you a lot of really good looks. That's number five. Um, there's nothing more difficult for the defense to defend than people that are cutting or screening through it. Um, that's number five. Number six is offensive glass. You got to hit the offensive glass. Great number. 
you know, those three point shots long bounce long. Um, and I have found the offensive glass other than transition is pro and, and, and dribble attacking are probably the three most successful, but the offensive boards, it's difficult for the defense to box you out. And then when you get around those fouls tend to occur often, um, Next one is, is shot fake, pass fake. Um, this is a skill set that I know our program is really working on is catching that, chucking it under the chin and looking at the rim, no matter where you are on the court. That's an important, they're peeking at the rim. But then that shot fake or pass fake, um, you know, how often do you see up top, especially, you know, that person kind of reaching in, doing that silly little foul. Um, so that's number seven. Uh, number eight is dribble. Dribble attack, dribble usage, attacking the gaps in the defense, um, puts pressure on driving to the basket, being under control when you're doing that um, can get you to the free throw line a lot. Um, that's number, what did I say, number eight. Um, and then perimeter flashes. I think that, you know, flashing to the open space, like I always say, follow the light, follow the light um, is number nine. And then number 10 is good ball movement, reversing it from side to side. Um, create creates closeout situations where the ball is skipped, the ball is moved, um, and that causes fouls often. So let me go through these again. Number one is transition. Um, number two is post touches. Number three is the patience and kind of moving the ball. Number four is taking care of the ball. Number five is cutting and screening. Number six is the offensive glass. Uh, number, uh, what did I say? Hold on, I went one, two, three, four, five. Offensive glass is six. Shot fakes and pass and and pass fakes are seven. Uh, dribble attacking is eight. Uh, perimeter flashes is nine, and good ball movement is ten. I think if you do those ten things, you get the free throw line a lot more. Um, you know, I like I said, I think the the big keys for me are those transition ones, the dribble off the attack. Um, in the offensive glass. If I had a pick, if I could, if I only had to pick three, those would be my big three would be the transition, the dribble attacking under control and the offensive glass. But I think a list of 10 always sounds a little bit better. So 10 ways to get to the free throw line and make your opponents pay. Um, anyway, have a great, uh, have a great day and we'll talk soon. Hey coach, so happy you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.